All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wawrakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well. To you men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons, and daughters as well. And the water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring, and going to that cross for the nation of Israel, and the nation of Israel alone, none of this would even be possible, period, point blank, whatsoever, all right? So our Lord, who the world calls Jesus Christ, he came in the flesh, and he's going to return again, okay? But his second return, he's not going to come in the flesh, all right? But Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Jesus Christ, he did exist. He ain't no myth. He ain't no fairy tale. He's the real deal. Okay? So let's go to the book of Hebrews, chapter 2, and verse 16. For verily, he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. So Yahweh Shai didn't come in the form of an angel he came in the form of mortal man okay of the seed of abraham abraham isaac and jacob to be more exact verse 17 wherefore in all things it behoved him to be made like unto his brethren why so that he can understand our pain if yahweh shai was sent unto us as the angels above us as the heavenly angels how would he understand our pain seeing that they don't feel pain? If he was sent in the likeness of an angel, he wouldn't have felt pain. But he came in the likeness of his brethren. Okay, which we're going to show you the brethren are Israelites, man. The brethren are our people. Okay. Wherefore in all things it behoved him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest to things pertaining to the power to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. So, point being that I want to bring out, Yahweh Shai came in the flesh like his brethren, so he knows our pain, also showing that he did exist, okay? And this lesson isn't about this, but he didn't come from what was known as the virgin birth, okay? Joseph actually laid down with Mary, okay? And put his seed into her. Now let's go to the book of Leviticus to show you who the Lord's brethren are. This is Leviticus chapter 25 and verse 46. <clears throat> and ye shall take them as an inheritance for your children after you to inherit them for a possession. They shall be your bondmen forever. But over your brethren, the children of Israel, Ye shall not rule over one another with rigor. Okay? Also showing you these other nations are nothing. They're under us. But when it comes to our people, we're supposed to be governed a certain way amongst each other. We're supposed to be brotherly amongst each other. Okay? The sisters are supposed are supposed to be sisterly. Okay? But when it comes down, the Lord's brethren, because remember, he was made like unto his brethren. Right? His brethren are who? The brethren are the children of Israel. That's why it says, But over your brethren, the children of Israel, ye shall not rule one over another with rigor. So Yahweh Shai came in the flesh, just like us, so he understands our pain. Okay? And he came in the seed of Abraham, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He was one of our people. Okay? So denying that Yahweh Shai existed, you're basically saying that you're an antichrist. A lot of you are saying, oh, we're waiting on the antichrist to arrive. There are many antichrists in the earth right now. First John chapter four and verse three. And every spirit that confesseth not that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is come in the flesh is not of the power. And this is that spirit of anti-Mashiach, whereof ye have heard that it should come 
and even now already is it in the world so the spirit of the antichrist is already in the world okay there's a lie that some believe that the antichrist is, is going to appear one day sitting on a the throne then that's how we'll know that we're at the end no there are many antichrists in the world already and in fact if you don't believe that who the world calls Jesus Christ, whose real name is Yahweh Shai, came in the flesh, and he came in the flesh as a so-called black man, okay? He came in the flesh as a so-called Negro, all right? You are a antichrist, okay? And every spirit that confesses not that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is coming in the flesh is not of the power. So anyone saying, oh, how do you know uh, so-called Jesus existed? How do you know he's real? How do you know he's that color? Why does it matter what color he is? Anyone talking like that, they are of the devil. They are, they are an anti-Mashiach. They are what the world will deem as anti-Christ. And every spirit that confesses not that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is coming to flesh is not of the power. And this is that spirit of anti-Mashiach, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. Okay, so anyone denying our Lord existed, they are an antichrist. Okay, but he was just like us, man. From what tribe? Of the tribe of Judah. Okay, how is that possible? Because he came in the same likeness as his brethren, being the Israelites of the seed of Abraham, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, our Lord being Yahweh Shai, who the world would call Jesus Christ, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood, right? Because the priesthood, that was of the tribe of Levi, okay? But ultimately, our whole nation is going to be made kings and priests in the kingdom, okay? And the high priest, okay, really being Yahweh Shai, who came in the order of Melchizedek, all right, for it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, being who the world today will call the so-called Negroes. If you don't believe that the Lord sprang out of Judah, if you don't believe that the Lord would have been a so-called Negro if he was in the flesh today, you would be an anti-Mashiach, an anti-Christ, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Okay, so understand one thing, man. When we go out there on the highways and byways, and we might have the picture of what the who the world will call Jesus Christ. We don't worship the picture. All right, that's just an idea painting you an image of what we believe our Lord would look like based off of what the scriptures say. Just like if someone was a criminal and they did a crime, I forget what you call it, but when you have a witness give a description, you'll have somebody paint up the description that the victim was identifying, okay? That's likened them to this word, man, okay? The, 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 the person being identified is who the world will call Jesus Christ. So we have images to give you an idea of what our Lord will look like, okay? It's not that we actually serve idols based off of worshiping images. We don't pray to images, man, okay? But long story short, Yahweh Shai, he came in the flesh and he was one of our people. And just as he was on earth over 2,000 years ago, he's going to return again. So let's get the book of Acts. Chapter 1 and verse 6. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons, which the father had put in his own power. So I believe this was after Yahweh Shai was already put on the cross, okay? He had actually appeared unto the disciples again a second time, okay? So the second time that they saw Yahweh Shai, they were thinking to themselves like, man, maybe the, the kingdom of heaven is right around the corner. We about to get the kingdom. He's here, we're looking at him. But it wasn't that time yet. Neither was it uh, for them to know when that time would be. But it's beautiful to know that those same men, okay, who were asking Yahweh Shai, hey, is this the time? No, now is the time. 
It wasn't time over 2,000 years ago, but now it's the time based off of what? Prophecies coming to pass. Now, we don't understand the fullness in terms of the exact day, but we know the season, okay? I mean, hell, look, the, 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 the Georgia Guy Stone just got um, destroyed. Now, I don't know if it was destroyed, but I know there was heavy damage done to it. Come on, man. You had a, a another shooting that happened on, what, July 5th? Looked like a little uh, little weasel, man. The guy looked like a weasel. See, a lot of you people, you always carnal. You look at people based off of, well, if he looks rough, if he don't smile, he must be crazy. No, you got to look at who you deem as innocent, okay? Those are the crazy ones, all right? Anyway, uh, let's read this. And he said unto them, verse 7, and he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the father had put in his own power. So it says here, it wasn't, it wasn't in the air yet for them to know because so much had to happen. Okay. But now because of Yahweh Shai loosening the seventh seal, we actually know what time it is and the season. Because the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, has shown mercy upon us, and He has revealed His secrets unto His servants, the prophets. But nevertheless, He still has not given us the uh, the whole outcome of when He will return. Because Yahweh Shai Himself, the angels, they don't even know when Yahweh Shai is going to be sent back by the Heavenly Father. Okay. Acts verses one and eight. But ye shall receive power after that. The Holy Ghost has come unto you and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. So, you know, some of the 12 are back here today, man. They might be in a group. They might be out here two by two, might be one here, two there, four here. Who knows? But the, 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 the disciples are back. <laughs> Tongue twisting up, man. Okay. Acts 1 and 9. And when he had spoken these things while they beheld, he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight. Okay? So just as the Lord left, the Lord is going to return the same way. And it's going to explain that, right? Verse 10. And while they looked steadfastly, oh, and by the way, of course, when he was taken up in the cloud, that was what the world will call a UFO. According to Psalms, which I'll grab that right quick. Psalms 104 and verse 3. Who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariot? Who walketh upon the wings of the wind? So what chariot do you know? What, what actual chariot, if you think of a chariot as in the old days where there's a horse pulling a, a wooden wagon, okay? What chariot do you know with wings that actually are used for flying. Come on, man. It's speaking of so-called UFOs. So when you see the word cloud here in verse Acts 1 and 9, that's speaking of a chariot, a.k.a. a UFO, what the world today may deem as a UFO. And there's other names that they've come up with outside of UFO. But according to the Bible, it's been identified. It was identified long ago. Okay? And when he had spoken these things while they beheld, he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight. While they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, he being Yahweh Shai, behold, two men being two angels, okay? And all the angels are men, for the record. There ain't no female angels, all right? Behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh Shai which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So the same way our Lord left the earth is the same way he's going to return. And the huge so-called UFO, what the Bible through cold word will call a cloud. Okay, so our Lord came in the flesh and our Lord is also coming back in the flesh. I mean, not in the flesh, but he's also coming back, but not in the flesh, but as a... Uh, as a, as a fierce power, man. The scriptures tell us he won't meet us as a man. 
Matter of fact, let me see if I can find it on my own. Is that Isaiah? Let me see. I'm not finding it right now. It's all good though. But um Man, but you brothers know what I'm talking about. I believe it's in Isaiah, but it, it basically is going into the spirit of Yahweh Shai, how when Yahweh Shai returns, he's not going to return in the flesh. You know, when he was here, he was in the flesh, but that's not how he's going to return. But the point being, though, the Lord came in the flesh and he is going to return again. In fact, he already returned because he came amongst the 12. OK, so really, it wouldn't be the second coming of the Lord, so to speak. It really would be the third coming if you want to be typical, because after Yahweh Shai got crucified, OK, he was witnessed amongst some of the 12. All right. Now, I believe it was uh, Thomas. I, I, I could be wrong, but I believe it was Thomas. He wasn't around to see it. So when they had spoken to him about seeing Yahweh Shai again, he had mentioned how he wouldn't believe it unless he actually saw Yahweh Shai with his own eyes and saw his wound or to, to prove that he was real, which is, you know, where some in the world today, you know, you get that nickname Doubting Thomas. Okay. But long story short, our Lord is going to return again. Okay, he was here before and he's coming back again. All right. And a lot of people, they just overwrite the Lord. Like, see, he ain't coming back. He ain't came back yet. Y'all still believe in that? Yeah, because it wasn't time for him to come back yet. Okay. But the time is coming where he's going to be sent back, man. All right. And we are going to witness him with our own eyes. Let's close it with this. Revelations chapter 1 and verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. Remember, those clouds represent so called UFOs, okay? Chariots. Behold, he cometh with chariots, and every eye shall see him, and they also, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so, Amen. So how in the hell <laughs> are you people going to live so carelessly as if the Lord ain't going to return and have his vengeance, man? When the Lord returns, everybody's going to see him. All right. Even those that pierced him, which means what? Reincarnations in the Bible. Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Jesus Christ, he died over 2000 years ago. There ain't no man on earth right now in the flesh who's 2000 years old. Okay, going all the way back to the time of the Roman Empire. Okay, so this is obviously speaking of those same men who pierced him. They're back today, just like the prophets are back today. All you non-believers who was uh, against the Lord back then, a lot of y'all are back here to get your judgment. Most of y'all are back here because the ultimate judgment, the supreme judgment, that final judgment is about to come down upon the earth very, very soon. So our Lord came in the flesh but he will return as a fierce power, all right? So all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Wa Rekha Shalom.